I have a whole note that says Chris on it. I wrote it this morning. It's no secret you love bears. It's like hot, like... Yeah. I mean, I have a fucking bear tattoo. Mm -hmm. What do you look for in a man? Pits or feet? I didn't know you were coming with the hard-hitting questions today. <laughs> Are you happy? I'm happy right now. Why? Because I got to meet you. Aw. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it? <laughs> Wait, stop walking. I gotta see it. 2020. Wow. Emoji, <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. Black bears, brown bears, polar bears. Mm -hmm. All the bears. When did your preference for bears or for larger slash older men. When did that evolve? There's something about bears that is just very, very masculine, I think, which is what mm. attracts me to it because masculinity is just really hot to me. Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my, uh, are you Mark Miller? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, what's happening? What's up? Here's the thing. You do these little interview on the street. What's the deal with that? People are tired of this shit. We don't want to hear it anymore. Just go home. <laughs> I'm speechless. With growth obviously comes hate. And uh, how do you deal with the negativity on the internet? Like not to get deep, but is yeah. there like one thing the, that haters typically say about you? The ones that don't really bother me is just like, you know, straight people being like, repent Jesus, blah, blah, uh, that, that like never really bothers me, but is that, what, is that TikTok mostly? Yeah. I mean, TikTok, Instagram, sometimes I'll just go viral wow. to the straights. But what does sort of bother me sometimes is like when people attack Brett and I mm. for being a couple, what do they attack you for? Is it like the age difference? Is it? Yeah. Like, Usually they're just like, there's something wrong with you. This is disgusting. You got groomed, like stuff mm. like that. When like I slid into his DMs and like they see one viral video of us and like think they know everything. But you know. yeah, you're the hunter. He's the bear. <laughs> <laughs> you trapped him. Yes. You got him on like a, one of those little uh, bear traps. Bear trap. There yeah. it is. So really, they just have the narrative flipped. Sometimes I just turn comments off, honestly, like on a few mm. posts, because like it just goes to this audience and like everyone is saying that. And that's where like, even if I want to find like the positive comments to reply to, like they will be there. But like, it's sort of majority are negative. I might just turn the comments off because I'm like, I don't want like Brett to see it either. And like, get his feelings hurt. What do you do? Well, I don't get hate, Chris. I'm fucking perfect. Um, Imagine how that, like, I was this person uh, in real life. <laughs> when I post a YouTube video, I'll look at the comments for the first, like, half an hour. And then I usually will never look at it again. I went through phases where I would just be addicted to that feedback, positive or negative. I just, like, wanted to know what people were saying about me or the video. As influencers, I think you just do have... You're kind of self-interested a little bit more than the average person. I was telling, are we still recording? I know I had 37% yes. battery when we did this. I can't see it, so if we stop recording, you fucking say something. Okay. So you popped the, you popped the shirt off, I noticed. Yeah. Like, you popped the shirt off mid-answer. You were taking some of the attention that was supposed to be on me onto you. See, this is why I don't fucking hang out with TikTokers. That was planned. Was it really no, planned? <laughs> videos for Chris's Instagram, TikTok, vertical stuff. This is the setup. This is the, the BTS. Forgot the handle, but... Well, can you just stick your finger in it and just like... <laughs> there you go. Perfect. What do you look for in a man? A fat ass and a good sense of humor. Can I not say that? Should I not? No, you can say that. That is very relatable. I love like driven guys. I think there's like nothing, nothing as sexy as someone just wanting to like <clears throat> just get like real passionate about whatever they're into. Cause I'm a passionate guy and I want another passionate guy. So how did I do? We did like his man in the street style stuff. I think you did pretty good. You know, you're being a little harsh on yourself, but. How so? Just thinking that you didn't do well. I mean, anytime I film anything, I'm like, oh, that's the worst. And then I review it and I'm like, eh, 
it's not that bad. Isn't that kind of how you are with content? Yeah. You feel like you never got enough or you just were not enough. Mm-hmm. Besides making, you know, videos in, in like the short form content arena, what's a big project? I know you've talked about doing features. Um, is that still kind of like something you want to do? Yeah. So I tried to make like my first short film last year. It came out okay. But I really do think I want to try and get more emotion and feeling like into my audience, kind of like how you do with your vlogs, but maybe just as like short films, like maybe a short series, basically just like kind of trying to take my content to the next level. So am I cooler on the internet or am I cooler in person? Hmm. I think you're cooler in person because I get to see the real you mm. that the internet doesn't get to see. Wow. You just made it sexual. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... You're jacked, by the way. I, I go to the I gym. Didn't, yeah, I didn't <laughs> I didn't know you were big. Damn. Yeah, he's bigger. You got, you got me beat, man. Scrolling on bears. <laughs> what are you all? <laughs> I was like, there's a... It's a bunch of skin over there on that phone. How do you feel about that? Hang on, this is a lot. <laughs> I'm like brain dead from our chat already. What do I feel about this? I feel great about it. Me too. When I started back in the day, I made a coming out video and I was like, yo, I wanna give back to the, the queer people who helped me come to terms with my sexuality. What is what is your message? Like, what is what does Chris Stan stand for? Yeah, you were actually one of the people who gave back to me so it worked mm. in that aspect that was great after my high school experience was terrible and like you know i'd watch your videos it definitely made me feel better so after i graduated is when i kind of started you know i just think now more i just want to make people smile like my content is mm. usually not too serious like i just mm. want gay people to know like we're here it's okay watch this stupid little video and laugh like i just watched dan levy's new movie on netflix good grief good grief i just it watched was that so good i was you like cry? i was crying Damn. and i'm like this yeah. is amazing like this is what we need i'm not joking when i watched it i thought of you really yeah because we had talked before and i asked you i asked you off camera i was like what project what are your dream projects mm -hmm. and you alluded to something very similar to what dan levy did mm -hmm. fun fact he lives in this neighborhood yeah no way yeah he lives in silver lake I wow. can't, I'm, I've, I've seen him in Silver Lake a bunch, but, uh, so I don't know if he lives here, but it makes sense if he did. It was less comedic than I thought it was going to be. I liked that the, one of the messages in that film was about there's no right or wrong way to grieve. He was trying to figure it out because when you lose someone suddenly like that, your whole world is fucking upside down and you're just trying to like find healthy distractions in order to just carry on. Mm -hmm. But for him, it took, you know, years, I think, before he like really processed it all that's it you're done you can get the fuck out of here all right no, how is really though you can, <laughs> you can hop out <laughs> i have one percent battery remaining chris you want to plug anything or say anything before i let my people go smash the like button and subscribe <laughs> thank you that was a wise use <laughs> of one percent of battery Hey Mark's vlog, it's Chris. Uh, <laughs> hey Mark editing. Mark just went to the bathroom. I just wanted to say, what up?